Hey, welcome back. Our Aspire Ski Winner Coach's Corner from our women's contest. So Ski's Hall 71-69 on the road and always devastating to lose to your right travel coach. Um, I, you know, I guess overall thoughts on the game today. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't defend. They did whatever they wanted offensively and that's unfortunate because every time we've given up more than 70 points, we've lost and this was no different. Um, we let a freshman get 19 on us, go 8 for 10 with our our best defender on her, who's somebody who's supposed to be our best defender, and then we let their best player get 20, 20, 21. I mean, there's no, there is no, I don't, I can't understand, I can't explain to you why, what the difference is between, we just didn't have enough toughness today. We didn't have enough will to get stops, period. And they, they did whatever they wanted, getting to the basket, um, finishing around the basket, driving in. We gave no resistance driving in. They got however many kick-out threes on the, on the opposite side. And so just really disappointing because it was all defense. It seemed like the game was called very tightly. Uh, anytime anybody tried to body up on defense, they were getting called for a foul. Uh, did that have something to do with the, the way we played defense today? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. How about um, offensively, Kylie Moxley? Obviously, huge game for her. Career high, 27 points, and uh, seemed like she was, when she was able to get the ball in the post, good things happened. Yeah, and I thought we did a good job getting her the ball in the post. I thought she was very successful. Um, and a lot of, you know, we wanted to, we, we, and also getting the ball into Danny, they would double team Danny, and she had hit a lot of 15 yeah. footer. So um, she was very active. She was very active in finding the opening. Um, I thought she did an excellent job because we, you know, that was what was open, and we, you know, we needed her. Um, you know, I thought our guards could have been a little bit more involved today offensively, but you know, with with Kylie being as open as she was and, and her being as successful as she was, that was fine with what we were doing. But it had nothing to do with our offense. How about um, two of five from three point range? I think you only took one three-pointer in the second half. Certainly, uh, you've got a team that likes to take more threes than that. Was it something they were doing defensively or just didn't need to with the ability to get the ball inside? I think it was just that we didn't need to. And, you know, we were we were able to get the ball in right away. Um, and every and then we were able to get it out either to Kylie. It was usually to Kylie and um, on the kick out. So, you know, I didn't. That being said, I didn't think our ball movement was that good today. You know, I felt like we were really slow. And, um, you know, I feel like we usually do. I don't think we broke down their defense enough, but I don't think offense was the problem. So, you know, it's going to be hard for me to, yeah. you know, what we were doing was working. Offensively, we scored, I mean, we scored six same points. Like, and that's fine. We just need to do a better job defensively. Well, you go home, you got two more games this week, and obviously quick turnaround to get to bounce back against Ferris State on Thursday. Uh, I'm sure it'll be good to, good to be home. Yeah, obviously it'll be really good to be home. It doesn't get any easier. You know, this is a this is a time for teams to separate themselves. And, you know, unfortunately we just put ourselves back a little bit. And Ferris is on a tear right now. And um, so we just got to make sure that we're ready. And, if you, you know, if you, and that's the thing about the league. If you're not ready on any night, and there's going to be, there's a number of teams that can tell you that. You yeah. know, if you look at any of the scores in the past, even the past week after last weekend, uh, there are only three teams that remained unbeaten in that, well, in that yeah. stretch. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's going to be be an every night thing and we gotta we gotta make sure that we fully and truly understand that and this is a good reminder. Thanks for taking time coach. That's our Aspirus Q and our coach's corner and